in the previous video we have seen and discussed how to create a UDF user defined function and we have taken an example of nested if formula and created the function in today's video we are going to discuss another example of nested if formula with different parameters and in addition to that I'm going to explain how to add that function that UDF to add in so that you can use that function from uh, um, within any worksheet any new worksheet within your Excel application that means in within your computer and also I'll explain how to share uh, this uh, add-in with your uh, colleagues and other users so that they can also install that add-in in, uh, in their files or in their applications Excel application and use that in this video I'm, I'm using an example of uh, quantity sold and commission so here uh, again it's a nested formula so wherein if it is 0 to 5 there is no commission if it is more than 5 to 10 uh, more than 5 and till 10 it is 0.2 and and so on so uh, instead of writing an if nested, nested if formula I'm just not going to uh, getting into that uh, formula now I'm getting into the function procedure directly because we are majorly discussing about function procedure so in the previous video the what kind of methodology we followed like uh, we have created a select case statement we have uh, given a select case statement and then we have given a loop etc the same thing we are going to do here so here the function so it's a basically it's a commission or it's a payout so for my convenience I'm just uh, giving the name of the procedure is payout again the payout will be based on a certain value so I have given certain values from 1 to 25 Z column in G column whatever is there like uh, if it is 1 then what is the percentage if 2 what is the payout kind of so I will write this uh, case is value so this obviously we when we uh, declare a case statement we will say that value so case sorry select case value so now we have given the case statement select case statement now uh, case is less than or equal to 5 you can write this uh, directly like this also and the VA code will be taken care case less than or equal to 5 if you write automatically it will adjust the code so case is less than or equal to 5 then what payout is equal to 0 so there is no payout and then uh, case 5 to 10 it's a simple language very simple simple English we are writing we are not writing any big code and then payout is 0.2 case 10 to 10 to 20 payout is equal to 0.3 case 22 25 so I have not given alphabet here I have just given a number I think 2 yeah 25 payout is equal to 0.4 now here one more thing we need to know, know that else there is an else statement uh, all of these are specific parameters so if it is case is uh, less than or equal to 5 and between uh, 10 5 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 20 4 rather I should say 4 so because I have given only 25 here so anything else what should be so then case else simple that is the only thing we need to write case else payout is equal to point uh, 5 that is all and then end select and end function so this function will give a nice uh, 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 formula so obviously it will give us an ease of getting the value very quickly so if I write payout automatically the payout formula is appearing here if I say 0 and then so 0.5 so till 5 there is no uh, commission and if I say for example the accuracy of this function is the first statement is saying less than or equal to 5 
that means if it is 5.001 what happens so that is the uh, beauty of this uh, function procedure this kind of accuracy we cannot bring on bring in our excel formula because there we need to give a lot of uh, uh, permutations combinations and we need to be very careful writing the formula but in this case it's easily defining it the moment the value is uh, going beyond 5 point something automatically it's selecting the next uh, uh, case next uh, statement so it is not showing 0 but it's showing 0 2.2 2. so that is the beauty of this uh, VBA code we have created a uh, function procedure and we know now what kind of payout is for each value so if I say payout the value is coming and accordingly this has been taken care one interesting thing we need to find here is we have given a uh, defined range like 5 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 24 etc and anything beyond 24 we have given an else statement and set payout is 0.5 for example I am just making this 20 as 22 so beyond 20 till exact 22 there is a gap that gap is not defined so obviously the code will consider that in else statement for example if I go to 21 which is between 20 and 22 if I put the value payout it will not take uh, 0.4 but it will take 0.5 to see this so it is taking 0.5 the reason is this is not defined in the range so we need to make sure that the range is properly being defined of course the function will take care in a big way so now again if I come here and if I refresh the formula the formula is taking only 0.4 one important thing we need to notice here that since we have created a module under book 1 and uh, the function procedure is written there this function can only be accessed within book 1 not beyond that but if we wanted to access this function across the application uh, that means in any other fresh workbook like uh, the other functions which are predefined functions like sum, vlookup etc we need to make this as an add-in once we make this function procedure as an add-in this udf as an add-in we can definitely able to access this function across the application but only limit limitation is that since this udf is created in your computer other user may not be able to use it so if they wanted to use it you need to share this add-in with them so that they can also access this function in their uh, respective laptops or computers now to make this an add-in the simple procedure is first of all we need to make sure that the code is written only in module 1 any other module maybe it's not module 1 but in a module it has to be written and then save the workbook as slxam that is add in file excel add in the moment you try to add this file the add in folder under uh, microsoft folder uh, will be opened and then you can just save it as payout or whatever name you want add in name I am saving it as payout as the function name and then say save now the add in is created I am not saving these files normally what happens when we are uh, closing any uh, uh, macro related file we close that rather first we save that as xlsm and then close it but here i'm not doing that because i've created an add-in so add-in will take care of everything don't save then open a fresh workbook we need to open and then let us see how it works first of all i need to activate my add-in options go to add-ins button and then activate uh, manage excel add-ins button is there just go and make sure that your payout uh, add-in has been checked say ok and then I have some value 10, sorry, 10, 11, 12 etc now if I wanted to uh, calculate the payout the payout function percentage is ready which is defined in the function procedure so this way it works and uh, hope you understand 
The purpose of creating this video is to make sure that the viewers are getting interest in VBA and they actually uh, do the practice and uh, get into VBA uh, more and more. So I request all of you to practice well and in the meantime as usual please like share and subscribe if you subscribe 